has slowly consumed our lives. Taking up moments we'd otherwise spend with our friends, families, and loved ones. But there's one moment in recent history that sent social media skyrocketing. COVID-19. COVID-19 marked the beginning of a new age. Billions of people isolating their homes, trapped, yearning for their old lives. This is natural. Humans by default are extremely social creatures. What was the solution? Social media. The whole population flooded to the internet. Thus, a new form of content was developed to capitalize on this new wave of possible customers. Short form content. The integration of short form media into our culture has only negatively affected our society due to humanity's inherent and natural desire to be entertained, which has only continued to be enabled by large greedy corporations. Short form content contributes to society's reduced attention spans. This in turn impacts productivity, learning, and memory. During a podcast sponsored by the American Psychological Association, psychologist Gloria Mark describes her research into the growing phenomenon of reduced attention spans. And then, in the last five, six years, we found attention spans to average about 47 seconds. And others have replicated this result within a few seconds. So, we know from a lot of laboratory studies that when children are very young, they're a lot more susceptible to distraction than older children. Executive function is not yet well developed, and children are sitting in front of screens and they're exposed to all kinds of potential distractions. When we are exposed to constant mental stimulation through the use of entertainment and media, our attention spans decrease dramatically. This could explain the continual rise in diagnosed ADHD. According to data provided by the CDC, 13% of teens aged 12 to 17 were diagnosed with ADHD between 2016 to 2019, far greater than the 7.3% found in 1999, according to the National Health Interview Survey. We have become further conditioned to have a shorter attention span because of short-form content. A short-form content addiction is equivalent to a gambling addiction due to its instant gratification and stimulating nature. This can result in mental health problems and social isolation. The National Library of Medicine conducted a study in 2021 on the effects of short-form content. Quote, short-form video applications are especially useful for sending customized content based on an analysis of user preferences. Users can also choose to watch the specific creator and content in which they are most interested. This personalization mechanism allows short videos to continuously provide users with content that meets their preferences. These personalized algorithms keep users engaged with short-form content apps. If the user enjoys the short video, they'll want to use the app longer to see if they'll enjoy the next video. If the user doesn't like the video the algorithm provides, then there's still a chance that the user will like the next one. This behavior parallels the behavior of a slot machine. If the player doesn't win any money on their first spin, there's a chance the next spin will. If the player doesn't win money, then they'll most likely play again so they can win more. Therefore, this algorithm makes it seemingly impossible to get bored while scrolling through short-form content. The same research document also notes that, quote, for eliminating or relieving the stress caused in real life, as individuals often tend to use the internet as a means of self-regulation and compensation, this process may yield two results. The positive result is that individuals compensate for their missing needs in real life with the help of the internet. The negative result is that they rely on the internet for compensation and overuse it, leading to the emergence of addiction symptoms. Typically, younger people, especially high school and college students, regularly use short-form video applications. These groups of people also deal with the stress of schoolwork and school in general, and are the target audience for these apps. The stimulating behavior of short-form content is the perfect way for younger people to escape their social life, their school life, responsibilities, or other social situations. Therefore, it's easy for someone to isolate themselves watching funny videos of people dancing or Reddit text-to-speech videos with Subway Surfers gameplay. It's why these videos have so much happening on one screen. Some might argue, if it's so bad for us, why is it still here? Why is there no regulation for short form content? Why isn't it illegal? Well, one reason why short form content is so prevalent is because politicians are so incredibly out of touch with the internet. Mr. Chu, does TikTok access the home Wi-Fi network? 
Well, what I mean is like if I use, lose my iPhone and I reinstall the app and I put in my username and password, my app will reconnect to the mothership and download some of that data, my settings. That's, that's not Same. the way it works, no. Despite politicians remove view on the internet, the real culprit for short form content's prevalence are large corporations. Facebook's parent company Meta has a super PAC which raises close to $350,000 for politicians, regardless of political party. This in turn incentivizes politicians to vote in favor for companies that, you guessed it, promote short form media. The almighty dollar. Short form content is the cash cow of social media companies. Such an efficient way to keep viewers glued to their phones and on the platform for longer. More time on their platform, more advertisements and products you are exposed to, more money in these companies' pockets. Meta and Google noticed the revenue generated by TikTok, so they decided to make the switch to short-form content. Now the only way for a media application to be financially successful is to implement short-form content. Even Netflix decided to make their own spin on short-form media. Short-form content has become a widely consumed and almost integral part of our society. It consumes the one thing we can never get back in life, time. It most literally robs us of our life. And for what? A moment of entertainment? A brief surge of dopamine? Short form video has become so deeply ingrained into our day-to-day -day lives that we aren't even aware of its consequences. We always have our phones on us. Take out your phone and look how many hours you spent on media. If you spend three hours a day, every day for a year watching short form content, you would have spent over 42 days on social media. Multiply that over an 80 year lifespan. You would have spent over 3400 days staring at your screen. But now the question is, is your life worth being entertained? <laughs>